Okay, so I'm kind of in the middle of doing my um, early evening pre-checks because I'm going to be up here about, yeah, you know, ten more times before I go to bed. And the chillest caterpillar ever was like, he was tired of the butternut squash. And I get it, it was getting a little old. And since my plants are rebounding so nicely, I was like, you know what, let me just give him a nice big leaf. This guy wasn't even faced. I even moved him to a deeper house because he's going to be jay hanging in the next, I don't know, I'm giving him 24 hours. So these, these little containers are deep enough for them to jay hang safely. And he just, it, I mean, this caterpillar is so chill. I, I stuck the leaf in front of him. He kind of just went still for a second and stuck his little nose out and went, oh, it's a leaf, yummy, and crawled right on it. So I took him and the leaf out of his old container, set it on the lid, do my stack of lids, and just let him chill there while I switched the containers out and I stuck him in the new one and he didn't stop eating the entire time. Even when I shoved that giant leaf into the new container, he's like, just yum, 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 I'm eating. And he really just doesn't care. Um, I even showed him to the uh, pest control guy that was spraying about the ha around the house. I was trying to um, just do a little awareness because, you know, his job is to spray poisons to kill pests. And I'm, I'm sure he doesn't want to kill any of the beneficial insects and uh, he actually seemed very interested, uh, started asking about milkweed, um, was talking about natural insecticides that target specific insects. Anyway, it was a really nice conversation and now he's going to be looking into planting milkweed. So I was very happy about that because it's really hard for me to talk to new people. And I did it, and now there might be somebody else growing milkweed. I also found three new eggs. So there's one of the new ones. These are yesterday's egg collection. So I'm sticking these guys in. See, there's another one right there, and another one right there. Monarch mommies are not picky. They will lay them anywhere. I found one on a stem. And for the longest time, I, I was looking at this egg every day going, do I want to cut the entire stem? Do I really want to cut the entire stem? Because it, it was on my thin leaf butterfly weed. And, you know, cut, cutting a stem, you have to have caterpillars that are able to consume the leaves on the stem that you cut. And after a few days of hemming and hawing, I finally, I couldn't, I just couldn't leave it, so... I cut the stem and brought it in. So sometimes they're not always on the bottom of the leaf. They're on the top, they're on the stem. You have to check everywhere. Uh, so far the fake food, no, I keep calling it fake. It's not fake. Ooh, and here comes the rain. Uh, the imitation diet guys are doing good. I don't know if you've noticed, I straightened up a little bit now that I don't have so many big fat ones that I'm constantly feeding. My life has gotten a little easier. I got to do some organizing, which was nice. Um, so that was a huge, huge plus. Wow, I came in just in time. Uh, these two are cat bite. I'm giving you new food in a second. Yeah, that's what a cat bite looks like. So. We're going to get somebody interested in some new food. Because we got a little third in star and we got a fourth in star battling it out. So we're going to separate them. As a distraction. And that leaf they're on is getting kind of ratty. I shouldn't have given them such a big leaf. You really have to be careful when you're gauging uh, how big a leaf to pick for the size that you're feeding. 
because the, the leaves will go kind of yucky kind of fast. And ever since I lost a caterpillar with the paper towel wrapping of the stem method and had to unwrap the stems and found a caterpillar wedged up in there, I have not been wrapping the stems because I have not wanted to lose another caterpillar. Um, I get a little crazy when I do a head count and I'm short. So, um, yeah, I don't do that anymore. So the leaves go bad quicker. Uh, this one had an egg on it. So I just brought in the whole thing. You can kind of see where I cut the, le the egg off right there. It's square. I usually cut them off in squares. So since I had to cut the egg off anyway and I needed food for these guys, I was like, I'll just give them this leaf when I should have really split it up between them and Houdini. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's just an example of leaf comp conservation if you don't have an abundance of milkweed. Um, it's good to pick the leaves that are the, you know, the, that are just big enough to feed the ones that you're feeding. Um, so that you don't waste any. Waste is bad, especially when you don't have enough. And there's never enough. Never ever. Because these monarch mamas will lay eggs like there is no tomorrow. Um, which, if we don't continue to raise awareness and plant milkweed and help these butterflies for them there they may there may not be a tomorrow that remains to be seen tomorrow leaning butternut squash guy is getting moved because that thing is just disintegrating and that's not a good place to be why he didn't go to the top i don't know they make silly choices they're caterpillars their brains are teeny tiny but they're so cute. I left them all. Uh, so that's yeah, that's my update for now. Uh, everybody's still eating the imitation milkweed. Um, and looking good. They're growing, so I'm very happy about that. I'll check in some more with that tomorrow and uh, show you their progress. I might do that tonight. Who knows? I'm up here all the time. My, you know, the people in this house don't even look at me funny anymore when I'm sitting in here just staring into a container full of caterpillars. They're, they're just like, oh, okay, she's up here again. Um, because I live in the basement and uh, I was graciously allowed to run my caterpillar nursery in the upstairs living room where there's sunlight and no AC. Um, and in the winter time, I turn this room into my plant nursery. I have several tropicals that have to be brought in. And this year I will be focusing a lot on milkweed. So I will have a bunch of milkweed plants going indoors. So that'll be fun. We'll see how many I can get going. Um, yeah, I'd like to have some nice established indoor plants. That would be good. Keep them growing year round. So, you know. And then, and I know they're safe. I know that they, you know, they're not infected by OE. Um, and they'll just be a food source for caterpillars. So that, that's my plan right now. Plans rarely go according to plan. <laughs> so we'll see how that pans out, but hopefully I'll be able to keep you posted and it will all work out the way I'm picturing it in my mind. Because so far none of this has, <laughs> has turned out the way I picture it in my mind. In my mind this was a lot simpler, less involved thing, but I have to make it a very complex over-involved thing because that's just who I am. I'm sure it can be very simple. I just make it very complicated. Isn't he cute? Hello. Little piggy piggies. All right, so I'll keep y'all posted. Uh, I'm just gonna do some cleanup and food refreshing, egg 
transferring uh, all the boring stuff, not the fun, cool stuff, like these guys. Yes, these are cute. So I'll check in with you again tomorrow.